it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the. I am David Atten and this is Todd and Nature. Todd and Nature. I sell barrel rolling, barrel rolling. 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 I sell Because I'm not going to have the lexicon out there for my name, JWE Revelation News, of having a small fucking dick. I don't. I have a normal size Eastern European slack. I have slack. Shanny, do I hang a bit? You hang a bit. Do I flop? You flop. See? I got floppage, folks. Hot damn! Hot damn! Shanny, you're not a Christian. You're a whore. I have slack. Hot damn! Hot damn! can't even be honest with yourselves. That's sad. Because I'm not going to have the lexicon out there for my name, JWE Revelation News, of having a small fucking dick. Small fucking dick. Jason. Small fucking dick. Small fucking dick. He's got bigger feet than you. But yeah, you have to say that. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, just fucking leave it alone. I don't want people to know that. Jason, chill out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. That's right. I sell barrel rolling, barrel rolling. 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 Your arguments are stupid. Fuck you. You're a punk ass bitch. Fuck you. If we are free, I can go out and kill that motherfucker that I don't like right now. Can you say it? Say it right now for me. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're evil fucking woman! So good night everybody and fuck off. Fuck off. Like I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. He deserves what he's gonna go through, though. He deserves it. He really does. Because as many times as I let him get away with being abusive toward me... Oh, I think abuse is something that goes on quite often in your home. Whether it's you hitting him, him putting his hands on you, or him putting his hands on your children, or you putting your hands on your children. I think violence is very much a part of your home. He kicked Zachary in the head and stomach. Motel. 
he does nothing for you, so you will probably be way better off without him. Yeah! <laughs> Most likely! Speaking as someone who has been in a domestic violence relationship, the first time is the last time. And then you pack your shit and you go or you get rid of him. That's, it doesn't happen more than once. Maybe this is rock bottom. But I don't know. Yeah, I think so. So just for those of you who are that not familiar with this, brain. not only did he do this, but he That's is now not allowed news. back at their home. And we're going to see how that works out. I don't know. Nope. I haven't talked to him at all, Carrie. What is that shit-eating grin on your face, Shani? This isn't funny. And you can see Carrie in there saying you're not going to let him back near your kids, right? You're not going to let him come back, right? So Carrie was doing the right thing at that time. I, I don't see what the issue is, but she does the wrong thing, of course. <laughs> I haven't talked to him at all. Yeah... I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure. Well, this aged like milk in the sun. Uh, when you have someone put their hands on your child and you let them back into the house, CPS then takes that child. So how fine are sure things going to be, Shani? Sure, it will be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. He doesn't want to end up back in the slammer again, does he? No. What is it, Will? Oh, he's laughing. Never mind. No, those kids are crying. Those kids are so terrified of that piece of shit coming back and hurting them again that the thought of it is making them cry. These aren't little babies either. These are teenagers. So think about that. What an impact that has on them. But you don't think about that because you don't care about anyone but your fucking self. No, we're both Will says, uh, no, we're crying because we both don't want him coming back here. We don't want him here. That's what was said. And did Shani take her, her children's feelings into account whatsoever? You guessed it, folks. No, no, she took zero responsibility and she just thought it would be cute to let him right back in. Oh, what was that, Shani? That was the truth coming out. And had you listened to your children, who knew exactly what they were saying, you would have realized they were right and you were wrong. And they had every right to feel that way. They had every right to be afraid of him. They had every right to tell you, I don't want him back here. They had every right to do all of those things and you didn't listen to any of it. You allowed an abuser back into a home to a further abuse Hi. your children. But that didn't work out for you now, did it? Because CPS said, nope. So that is the ever infamous vile Shani making up excuses for why she let um, this man back in and then boo-hoos about why her children were taken. Harsh. Unreal. Probably one of the oh, buckle up, folks. This is going to be a good one. This was June 28th of 2022 that she made these very, very sick, vile statements about her kids. And I had to put my sons first, okay? I know I don't usually talk about my sons, but this does involve my sons. You don't talk about your sons. You don't even acknowledge your sons. Every time they come into the room, they're told filming is in progress and they're shooed away. In case people don't know here on Twitch, um, I'm extremely sick. Um, we don't know what's going on with me, but I'm very sick. I've had seizures. I, I've, I've, I have a hard time walking. I know a lot of women who are sick with a lot of very serious illnesses and they're still mothers every day of their lives. I just have it rough. Functioning. Period. 
With what? Because I know plenty of people with fibromyalgia, MS, cancer, lupus, etc. And they are still able to take care of their kids. What seems to be your problem? What's your malfunction, Shani? So, as a mother, I know I have to try my best to get my health together, right? But I can't do it with my voice here at all. There's no way I can get my health together and get myself together with my voice here because it's, 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 it's hard, you know? What's so hard about it? They're your children. They're your flesh and blood. You carried them. How do you just so easily dismiss them as if they never existed? This is disgusting, Shani. Absolutely vile. Like, what could you possibly be thinking because of your health? You give your children away because of your health? Nobody's buying that. Nobody thinks that's real life. Nobody respects that answer. That's disgusting. Those are your children. You fight to the death for those kids. You walk to the e or end of the earth and back for your children. I guess you don't, I guess that's just everybody else that I know with kids and not you. But for you to think that this is cute is pathetic. So today I gave my sons up to foster care temporarily so I can get myself better. Shout out to all the mothers who have something medically going on and still are badass moms. You guys they, rock. They of it and, and I was ingredients of it and Jason was ingredients with it and CPS was ingredients of it. I don't give a shit if Jason was in agreeance of it. Jason is the reasoning for it. But you know what? God works in mysterious ways and this had to happen and I'm glad it did because now those boys are where they belong and they're cared for. My health is really bad. You know, there's times where I don't know if I'm going to wake up. I just love them so much and I just want the best for them and I want them happy and I can't make them happy because they see their mom just thank you guys for support what they see their mom doing is laying around doing nothing and being lazy and complaining about ailments that she does not have um, that is what her kids get to see her do I would be mortified to show my kids how weak I am um my kids see me get sick and still go to work and still take care of them. So there's no excuse. They see their mom really sick and that's not good for their mental health either. They see their mom just like not being able to function. So we made the decision to put them in temporary foster care and um, work on our, our health, which is best for them. Um, I do get visitation, of course, and everything, but it's just, it's, it's not hard. It's, it's very hard not having kids around, but at the same time, thank you again. Thank you, Dad. I needed, I need time to try to get healthy, and, and they need, they need. So next month it will be a year. What have you done to help yourself in any way? You sit there and e-bag every day, and you're in his in uncle's so house. Wow, you I did a lot. Right so, yeah, I'm crushed by this. I'm heartbroken by this. This isn't going to be an easy couple of months, but it is necessary for them to be taken care of while I'm going through treatment. So basically what happened was, um, as awful as Rev kicking uh, Zachary was, it did bring attention to CPS to how poorly these kids were being taken care of. So um, he did that to Zachary. He was not allowed back at the house and that is just the rules anywhere and she allowed him back in the house and CPS said nope and snatched her kids and put them someplace safe. Thank God they're there and thank God they never have to deal with this again. This is a hard journey for me right now, okay? But I'll get through it. And all I ask is for support and a little compassion and empathy. You don't get any sympathy here. You're not the victim here, okay? Zachary and William were the victims of this situation. They're the ones who have to go to a whole new home because you didn't do what it took to be a mom. You didn't do right by them, and that's why. I have no compassion for you. You are going to look at this like a fucking vacation, you sicko. I'm doing the best for my sons. I'm not doing this because I'm selfish or anything. I, I'm doing this for my sons to protect them. You're 100% doing this because you're selfish. No mother loses their kids and jumps on a live stream to talk about it, you fucking whack job. And so I can get better, which I don't know if I will or not. 
but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get me better. But right now I'm, I'm lost, I'm like, I'm a mother without her children. <laughs> and I just, my heart, I, it's not like I can call them. Well, I can't call them though. But it's like, I can't call them like out and they'll like come to the room or anything. I can't do that anymore. You never did that anyway. Every time they came to your room, you said filming was in process and you and you made them leave. You never called them into your room for anything unless they were getting you something. I can't hear them laughing. That's because they never were laughing in your home. Your house was never a house full of laughter and doing fun family stuff together. It was you and Rev and them in their room playing video games, totally separated by technology. This house is so quiet right now. You guys didn't play but board games or do house. any fun things. They went to Dave and Buster's once and got yelled at the whole house. time. Where's Jason? Jason! Here comes her codependent. So yeah, so during this time of separation, I'm gonna focus on my mental health, my physical health, and trying to get Twitch established so I can have a good income because that's the only things I can focus on, you know? This is- Or a job might work. Streaming on Twitch didn't work out for you, but a job might have. Just a thought. This is a time for me to focus on myself. We're looking at it as a vacation time. Yeah, it's only temporary. We're looking at- Yes, you heard that right. She just referred to losing her children to CPS to a foster home as a vacation. Yes, she says it again. Hold on. Not a vacation time. So they can get better, like, so they can have, like, comprehensive mental health and be monitored for their mental health, too. And, you know, we can be okay. <laughs> play some Street Fighter with Jason Retrograde Gaming is huge on Twitch. Yeah, we could do that. We could play some Donkey Kong. How do you even smile at a time like this? Yeah, let's make it a party. Let's get some balloons and some pizzas and let's just have a, like a divorce party, but a CPS took our kids party, you idiot. And, Jesus you know, Christ, Jeremy. Try our best to have some fun with our lives. Cause that's all we can do right now. Wrong. I was an outreach worker with DHS in Oregon. That is not what you do. In fact, what you do is spend every minute of every day trying to regain custody of your children. You don't sit back and have a party. You don't sit back and relax. You don't sit back and not get a job, not get your lives together, not get mental health, not do the things the court said you needed to do get your, to get your children back. How dare you? How dare you act like this is a good thing? We just need a vacation. We're going to play some video games. And fuck you. How dare you? I hope your kids never see this. So, yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah. Hi, honey. I was, no, I was, what? I was gathering up my magic cards because I'm going to be an adult and sell them eventually soon. Okay. So I loaded them up in the car and I'm going to be selling them. You don't need that shit. Hi, baby. So how are you feeling about this? Oh, my God, honey. Well, as everybody knows... The real reason this happened is because of yours truly, and he had a psych he had a moment of psychosis. So I feel 50 times as bad as you can imagine. I feel, Shannon. Yeah. Yeah, Jason. Imagine if you would have just kept your fucking hands to yourself. Imagine that. It's actually 100% your fault and 100% her fault for letting you back near that kid. That's the I problem. Guess. But I think it's going to be good in the long run for me to be on track with my mental health, and you're going to get on track with your physical health. And when the boys come back, we're going to be the best two parents they can want. We're ready for it again. We'll be on assistance. All of this good stuff. Yeah, this was a good choice we made. They're going to get fed. I feel so bad that those boys had to be in this household with not enough money to eat. Why wasn't there enough food for them to eat when you guys were getting food stamps for four people? Why uh, did you never get a job if you didn't have any money for food to feed them? I love them, and I want them to be fed and, and thrive. Scumbag. That's how we're looking at it as a vacation. You have to look at it that way. Yeah, you have to look at it that way. You know, it's a vacation for them. It's a vacation for us. So all of us can get better. Zachary loves adventure. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I'll talk more about it if people want to know more about it. I know there's a lot of people that this is old news to, but I'm really just doing it for the people that didn't know about this lovely couple and now now need all of the info because it is quite a rabbit hole. But yep, she was infuriated with Rev, wasn't gonna bail him out. He deserves to rot in there to, hi baby, I'm sorry. I had to, we lost our children because of you, but at least we have each other to snuggle and 
play video games and vacation while our children are in a foster home, probably terrified because they don't know any better. Even though their life with Rev and Shani was miserable, they don't know any better. It must have been terrifying, especially for Zachary, who has autism, and things for him are very different than they are for people without autism. I have a nephew with autism. I know how it works, and it's not easy for a child with autism to just be swept up and moved into a whole different environment. It's hard. She never thought about that once. This was all about her. Her and her having Rev there to take care of her and run out and get her stuff and be his her, her little carrier pigeon. That's all she uses Rev for. His money, whatever they can get of that, his e-begging and running out and getting shit for her. That's what he's useful for. So that's all I'm going to talk about today. I may have another video that I'm working on. It's a little different, but I just wanted to give you guys the rundown of what happened when Rev kicked. Zachary in the head and the ribs but you all have an amazing Tuesday we got through Monday <laughs> it's Tuesday um I am off today which I'm very happy about um I hope you all have an amazing day and I love you guys thank you for watching and I will be back soon have a great day guys Oh, and if you like this and want me to keep doing this, then please feel free to comment if you have any questions or input. Um, please like the video. It helps me a lot. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Because this is mostly what I'm going to be focusing on. Aside from something else, I have this to focus on for now. So if you enjoy it, I enjoy making them for you. And uh, we'll happily continue. But that's it. Bye, guys.